uh, I really got the motivation to to do community work because uh, the moment I was placed at Sangaza and doing something called sustainable human development, this is something you will mostly work with people. Like I said, social transformation. It's about transforming the society in a holistic manner. So at that point, I really met lots of people who are actually doing something nice to the society. And that's when uh, it dawned on me that fear, that was actually a calling. I felt I needed to actually do something for the society, regardless of anything in my own small way whatever i'm doing i make sure what i'm doing in one way or another i'm changing someone's life or i'm putting a smile on someone's face so i remember uh i was doing uh in our own small way pale just trying uh can i say um some sort of awareness in uh, in madare uh i was with a friend of mine called bonnie uh, it was around uh, in 2021. That's when we had an, uh, an encounter with the, it's a school in Madare Primary. Okay. So first we went there for a field work, and then uh, we actually liked the place. It was it is in the slum areas. It's a school that is providing education to the slum children, and also it is uh, doing something to help with the street kids, the street families there. So that was our, I can say our insertion point and also my insertion point. I was with a friend. So that's when we started our first ever community work. So we were dealing there, we were as social workers in that school where we were with kids, seeing how we can now offer them some mental support. Because you know, there's a lot of challenges in education for children, especially in the slum areas. If you actually insert yourself in the community and get to know the conditions the children go through, it's actually a pity and we need people to be there that can actually do something to help these kids to in order for them to see that uh, you know there is something greater than this there's something great you're doing so we put ourselves in that uh, in that situation where we are social workers acting as mentors in that uh, institution and it was a really nice experience we, we worked there for some time for at least uh, three months even after those three months we continued. I remember we were doing, uh, it was a feeding program, we were involved on Sundays where we gather the street children somewhere and then we offer them some food, some something to keep them up and also sort of offering them some, you know, some mental health support, talking to them. So for me I felt uh, that was uh, uh, an insertion point for me to working with the society and with that I was now uh, able to to become open-minded and realize that you know there are actually what we call minority people in the society that uh, actually need people to be there for them even if it's someone just to talk to any help you can do to them it's really important in your own small way as a human being to do something that uh, actually creates an impact so for me uh, that was my insertion point and uh, motivating factor so uh, in Kam uh, Kwendelea, uh, I also, in my community, I interacted with uh, a group around uh, Kawangware. It's called the uh, Dagoreti Social Justice Center. That was my second encounter, not my second encounter actually, with the community despite uh, the Madare. It was still working, but then uh, this was a group that was actually dealing with the uh, prison reform. So now for me, uh, now this was uh, something that was really huge. I dealt large, largely with them because uh, I realized the prisoners are a group that uh, have uh, actually been neglected because of the societal mindset we have about prisoners, I know, and also access to, the, to justice in the community, you know. So uh, when I met this group, uh, I remember there was someone called Mali, uh, Wainaina Kamau, he was uh, my mentor. Uh, I remember another one was called uh, Carol. Carol Nanga. She was giving a talk about uh, justice in the society because she runs uh, an NGO that uh, you know gives justice to the society. So I also got motivated and wanted to see, in my own small way, how can I get involved in these activities that is meant to help this minority group, you know, the prisoners. 
So I got uh, largely involved with the, the group, the Great Social Justice Center.